Last month, a white supremacist terrorist murdered 22 people in El Paso, Texas. His evil act was inspired by the murder of 51 people at mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand. That man's evil act was inspired by the murder of 77 people in Norway in 2011. In Norway, terrorist Anders Breivik left a manifesto that describes how he was inspired by other extremist and nationalist groups around the globe. Breivik pointed to the RSS in India. He praised the right-wing Hindu nationalism of the RSS and its goal of making India into a Hindu nation. He praised the RSS for how they dominate the streets and often riot and attack Muslims. He said the goals of white supremacists and the RSS are identical and that they should learn from each other and cooperate as much as possible. The RSS is a fascist paramilitary founded in 1925, the same year that Hitler published Mein Kampf. The RSS developed with inspiration from the Nazis, and it produced Narendra Modi. In 2002, Modi presided as soldiers of the RSS massacred 2,000 Muslims. They gang-raped women, hacked people to death, burned people alive. Leaders of the pogrom later confessed on camera that Modi sanctioned their violence. For this reason, Modi was banned from entering the USA for 10 years. Today, under Modi's iron-fisted regime, Christians, Dalits, Muslims, Sikhs, and every Hindu who disagrees with the hate, violence, and supremacy of the RSS lives in fear of their lives. Modi's hands are stained with blood. Those who shake his hand in welcome cannot wash their hands of complicity in his crimes. Bishop Desmond Tutu once said, if you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. So what then if you roll out the red carpet for the oppressor? The philosopher Plato said, silence is consent. So what then if you raise your voice in support of the oppressor? Rather than howdy Modi, the city of Houston ought to be saying adios Modi.